When most people think of cat conservation, they think of the larger well-known cats like lions, tigers, and cheetahs. But there are more species of small cats than large exotic cats, making conservation efforts of small cats just as important. Regardless of size, small cats play a vital role in most ecosystems, being the top predator in many cases. Not until recently has there been a serious effort taken towards conservation and research of many of the small cat species. The palace cat is one species that has generated a lot of attention since the mid-1990s when the first cats were delivered from Russia to create a captive population in North America. Crew, the Cincinnati Zoo's Center for Conservation and Research of Endangered Wildlife, has been leading the way to ensure a growing captive population of this threatened species. The palace cats are small cats that are native to Central Asia, and we do a lot of work with them in Mongolia. And it's one that the wild populations are becoming more threatened, mainly because of poaching, but also habitat loss. Successful breeding has begun to occur after learning the palace cat has a very specific breeding cycle. What we're finding with the captive population is that we've learned a lot about their reproduction in the last 15 years. I've been working with palace cats for about that long. And we can breed them fairly effectively. They're very seasonal. Um, they breed only in the wintertime. They usually have one litter a year. So they, they, the females usually get one chance to breed. If they get pregnant, they'll have a fairly large litter, five or six kittens. But if they don't get pregnant, they're basically done until the next year. And that reproductive seasonality is controlled by light exposure. After unlocking this secret to breeding, another more frustrating problem developed, a very high infant mortality rate. The problem that we found going back a few years is that a lot of the kittens that are born are dying of a parasitic disease called toxoplasmosis. And it's caused by a parasite called toxoplasma. It's what's called a protozoal parasite. And the basic problem we think in palace cats is that it's not a normal parasite of a palace cat. It is a normal parasite of a domestic cat, but once it gets into palace cats, it's like a new host, and the palace cat's immune system can't control it. And so with the, with the palace cat kittens, if they get infected during pregnancy, um, these kittens, they can't fight off the parasite. The parasite proliferates invades every organ system, and they just die very quickly. There's nothing that you can do about it. Obviously, the key to a successful breeding program is healthy kittens. Once a palace cat is infected with the toxoplasma parasite, it carries it for life. But because of the limited gene pool of the captive population, it's vital to keep even infected females as part of the breeding program. So what you really have to do if you want these kittens to survive is to keep them from being infected in the first place. And since a lot of this happens during pregnancy, that means you have to figure out how to treat the females to keep them from transmitting the parasite to the kittens. We've come up with a regimen now that involves multiple drugs that we use with the pregnant female. And then after the kittens are born, we treat them for the first week with some of these drugs to try and keep the, any parasite that's already in their bodies from proliferating and kind of wiping it out before it has a chance to establish itself. The chance of infection doesn't end after birth. The mother can transmit the parasite through her milk during feeding. In an ideal world, you want to avoid hand raising the kittens. But since leaving the kittens with the birth mother is not an option, Crew has developed a creative alternative. We have the opportunity here to breed domestic cats to serve as mothers for these palace cat kittens and basically be surrogate mothers for these kittens. And the advantage to doing that, there's really two. One is our domestic cats are all free of toxoplasma. None of them have this parasite. We maintain a parasite-free colony. So we know that the mothers are not gonna transmit this parasite in their milk to the kittens. And that's always a danger with the palace cat mothers if we leave the kittens with them because the parasite can be transmitted in the milk. Um, the other advantage is that we get around the clock care of these kittens much more intensively than our nursery keepers can do themselves. While we're still in the early phases of this research, the palace cat could be the poster child among small cats for demonstrating the power of science in species conservation. We think that we've got something that works pretty effectively because we've got, this year we've had two pregnancies um, and we've had two litters that, are, that were born and those kittens are doing well. Last year we had one pregnancy of five kittens and all of those kittens survived. So we're seeing a, a phenomenal increase in um, survivorship of these kittens, these palace cat kittens now where in previous years would lose the whole litter. So we think that the drug treatment is probably having some effect. We can't say for sure that it's wiping out the toxoplasma and keeping it from proliferating. All we can point to is the, the final results and we have surviving kittens.